Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Bukesh once again from Dr. BKM Institute. Today we have got this topic again. As I have always told you, that this always read the settings that you are in the hospital ward. That means patient is already ad admitted, so you cannot ask how may I help you. Because the patient is in your hospital, so how can you ask how may I help you? Because you are on his bed side, so there will be something. So you are speaking with the 40 year who has been admitted to the hospital with a suspected stroke. You have been asked passive voice. You have been asked. मतलब B के साथ third form. यानी कि passive voice. You have been asked by the doctor. तो by भी इतारे passive voice है. Doctor के द्वारा you have been asked to administer warfarin injection. So आप ये rather than बोलोगे how may I help you? So आप पूछोगे how are you feeling today? तो patient बताएगा I am feeling okay, but I have been admitted as I have been suspected with stroke. तो आप उसको बताओगे Yes, I know. Yes, I know. इसीलिए मैं इसीलिए मैं यहाँ पे हूँ. That's why I am here to administer you warfarin. ऐसे आपकी conversation. Again, please paper में पहले ही लिख देना. I am telling you again and again, guys. Paper में पहले ही लिख देना. You will not have much problems आपको पेपर में लिखना है loud है three minutes मिलते हैं आपको AT के एग्जाम में तो ये first line तो हमेशा लिखो हमेशा लिखो and expect कि patient आपको cooperate करेगा so आपको ये task है तो आपके task के points क्या क्या हैं तो points देखते हैं medical history of the patient लेनी है तो ऐसे अपने points पेपर में बना लो so please tell me about your medical history देखो कितना आसान है पहले पेपर में लिख दिया please tell आपको रुकना नहीं पड़ेगा अटकोगे नहीं तो फ्लुएंसी खराब नहीं होगी फ्लुएंसी खराब नहीं होगी तो मार्क्स नहीं कटेंगे तो पहले उससे पूछ लो एंड फॉर गिव मी फॉर द स्पेलिंग्स जैसे ये हिस्ट्री के स्पेलिंग लेते हैं पर मेरा काम क्योंकि स्पीकिंग का टास्क है इसमें तो स्पेलिंग्स बैठे मैटर नहीं करेंगे तो अपना टास्क बनाते चलो उसके बाद नेक्स्ट पॉइंट क्या है नी नीड टू चेक विद द डॉक्टर इफ शी कैन कॉन्ट्री तो जब पेशेंट की आप हिस्ट्री लोगे तो वो बताएगा एक्सप्लेन दैट आफ्टर द इंजेक्शन वार्फर नीड्स टू बी टेकन ये तो साफ ही दे रखा है ऑल्सो You need to continue the warfarin tablets after the injection every day for the next four weeks. So third question: Explain that you need to check with the doctor if she can continue her herbal supplement. यानी जब आप उसकी medical history लोगे तो वो पक्का आपको एक बीमारी बताएगी जिसमें वो आपको बताएगी कि मैं herbal supplement लेती हूँ. तो आपको बताना है कि you need to check with doctor कि आप herbal supplement ले सकते हो या नहीं. ले सकते हो नहीं वेदर यू कैन टेक हर्बल सप्लीमेंट और नोट ऐसे पहले लिख दो मतलब आपको कोई दिक्कत हो ही ना मतलब इतना आसान होना चाहिए आपके लिए काम फिर बात बनती है फिर आपका पेपर अच्छा होगा थर्ड एक्सप्लेन द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ क्वेश्चनरी मेजर्स रिगार्डिंग द वर्क रेन मिनिमाइज विटामिन सो प्रिकॉशनरी मेजर्स अब इसको सारा कुछ तो लिख नहीं पाओगे तो आप ऐसे लिख दो प्लीज अवॉइड दिस थिंग प्लीज अवॉइड दैट थिंग It is important to take this medication with this thing. तो दो चार लाइनें बना लो. It is तो यहाँ पे पहले ही बना लो मन में. Please minimize the vitamin K in your diet. Avoid or please and also avoid this and this thing. It is important to take a dose at the same time each day. तो importance यही है कि same time लेनी है. Offer to provide a patient. तो I am giving you a leaflet which contains all the information about the warfarin and its effect. So please do not worry. Advise the patient to stop the medication. तो अपनी medication रोक देना. अगर कोई भी गड़बड़ होती है, जैसे कि अगर आपको bleeding होती है, और doctor को immediately contact करना and contact doctor immediately. अब देखो आपका task सारा तैयार है. आपको देखने की जरूरत नहीं. आपका पूरा task तैयार है paper में. आप ऐसे ready होके जा रहे हो. वैसे मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ कि patient क्या-क्या बोलेगा. तो patient क्या-क्या बोलेगा? Patient बोलेगा कि for which आपको उसको polycystic ovarian syndrome है. तो एक बात तो ये बोलेगा. पेशेंट हमें पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवेरियन सिंड्रोम है इसके लिए मैं हर्बल सप्लीमेंट्स लेती हूँ जो मैंने आपको बताया ये पक्का बोलेगी क्योंकि आपको एक टास्क में दे रखा है अल्कोहल नहीं लेती स्मोक नहीं लेती तो ये भी बताएगी तो यानी कि आप अपने क्वेश्चन पेपर में दो क्वेश्चन और लिख सकते हो डू यू स्मोक एंड मेडिकल हिस्ट्री पूछने के बाद डू यू स्मोक वो कहेगी नहीं सो डू यू ड्रिंक तो वो कहेगी नहीं तो ये दो क्वेश्चन और बन गए मतलब हमेशा आपको अलग अलग क्वेश्चन पूछने हैं जो आपको हेल्प करेंगे अगर नहीं भी पूछोगे कोई बात नहीं क्योंकि आपको नहीं तो ये अपने आप बता देगी मैं अल्कोहल स्मोकिंग नहीं करती सो so, वो अपने आप बताएगी यू माय फादर टेक्स वारफेरिन टेबलेट्स तो उनको ब्लीडिंग होती है जब आप उसको वारफेरिन टेबलेट्स के बारे में बताओगे तो वो कहेगा कि उसको नोज ब्लीडिंग होती है तो आपको ये कहना है कि अगर नोज ब्लीडिंग आपके केस में होगी तो डॉक्टर को जरूर बताना है और ये पेशेंट को टास्क दिया होता है तो मैं आपको बोल के दिखाता हूँ टास्क पेपर में कैसे होगा सो प्लीज 
uh, be here and listen to it carefully. Good morning, my name is Bhupesh. I'm your nurse for the day. So how are you feeling today? Oh, well, nurse, all right, you know, but really kind of concerned and worried. I have been admitted with stroke and uh, suspected stroke, I mean, but I'm really worried. So I don't know, like what to do. Well, don't worry. Doctor has informed me that you are admitted with a suspected stroke. That is why I am here to administer you this warfarin injection because stroke is basically due to the clots. So for this warfarin injection, it is an anticoagulant. That means it prevents clot formation and it is very helpful for you at this moment. But before I can administer you this injection, I would like to ask you about your medical history. So do you mind? Well, no nurse, that's okay. You may ask. Okay, so tell me something. Uh, tell me about your uh, medical history. Like, are you taking any medications? Are you having any disease? Well, nurse, otherwise I'm fine. But I have been diagnosed with uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome for which I'm taking herbal supplements. All right, okay. And do you smoke? No. Do you drink? No. Okay, well, thank you for telling me your medical history. Apart from that, is there anybody in your family who is having kind of heart problems or something like that? Well, nurse, yes, my father has heart problem and he takes warfarin for that. All right. Okay. So I am also giving you warfarin injection. So you must be familiar with this injection if your father is already taking uh, these tablets. Well, nurse, yes, I am familiar and I'm really worried about these tablets because, you know, my father sometimes has nose bleeding. And I'm really worried if I will take this injection, I will have also nose bleeding and other problems. Well, no, it won't be anything like that because you are having stroke. At this time, the benefit of this medication definitely is more than risk. So at this time, taking this medication is very important and there are no side effects. And for now, it is very important to take this injection. And then you need to continue this medication in the tablet form every day for the next four weeks. That, in, that means almost a month, you need to continue this medication in the tablet form so that your uh, chances of blood clotting can be prevented. And in this way, you would be out of this problem. Well, nurse, I do understand what you mean, but you know, what about the nose bleeds? I'm really worried. Well, don't worry about the nose bleeding, but if in case, if you have any kind of nose bleeding, please stop the medication immediately and contact the doctor as early as possible. If you suffer from anything like this, again, unusual or prolonged bleeding, please contact the doctor immediately. Do not uh, wait for anything. Okay, nurse, any other thing? Yes, of course, there are many things I would like to tell you. I would like to tell you. First of all, I would like to tell you that you have to check with the doctor. I would also ask the doctor and will remind him that you are taking some herbal supplements for your polycystic cystic ovarian syndrome. But at this point of time, warfarin is very important. So sometimes it can or it may interfere with herbal supplements and can cause some side effects. So you need to check with the doctor and I will also confirm you that whether you should continue the herbal supplements or should stop it for a while. Second thing, there are a lot of things regarding your cautionary measures. So I would like to tell you about the importance of these cautionary measures regarding warfarin. First of all, I would like to say please minimize vitamin K in your diet and avoid over-the-counter medications due to their interaction with the warfarin. So warfarin is a kind of a medication that you should not take any medications with neither the herbal supplements nor any kind of over-the-counter medications. So if you're having some kind of problem, always check with your doctor before you take any kind of medication. And it is very important for you to take a dose at the same time each day. That means if you're taking warfarin at 6 p.m., then you should take these tablets every day at 6 p.m. So that means you should not keep on changing your timing, sometimes 4, sometimes 6, sometimes 7. It is not nice in case of warfarin tablets. So you have to be really specific about these tablets, especially about the timings. But nurse, I'm really scared. See, you don't have to be scared. I will give, I'm giving you a leaflet as well that, that has the complete information about the warfarin and its effects, its positive effects, as well as bit of side effects it may cause. So I'm giving you this detailed patient information leaflet. It contains everything about warfarin. So please don't worry. And also you have told that your father is also taking warfarin. So you can obviously re realize that there must be some benefits. That's why your father is taking these tablets. But nurse, how about the nose bleeding? 
as i have mentioned earlier as i have mentioned earlier as i have mentioned earlier that you need to stop the medication immediately and see the doctor immediately in case of any unusual or prolonged bleeding so is it okay with you would you be able to do that yes nurse i will okay then take care of yourself for now i'm i have already given you this uh warfarin injection but now you need to take this tab in the tablet form every day for the next four weeks and we will stay in contact with you taking updates about your health and if you have any complication please feel free to ring us anytime and immediately if you have any kind of complication like bleeding and please avoid any over the counter medications and herbal supplements is it all clear to you well yes nurse okay that's great if you have any problem please feel free to contact and if you have any doubt so you can ring the buzzer and the it is just beside your bed and uh, we will be here to assist you and when you get the discharge again we will be connected to you by the time you complete this course of warfarin tables for the next four weeks and we'll keep a check on you and your health so you would be absolutely fine all right nurse thank you okay take care so this is how you do your oet task again please listen to this recording five times only then it will make sense and it you would be able to learn a lot of things from it so please 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 revise all the things whatever i teach you because that is what is going to help you on the way through and our contact number is 7696734256 anybody can whatsapp us or can leave a comment in our youtube box and uh, definitely we will reply you this is dr bupesh from dr bkm institutes assuring you for the best oit coaching and please listen to the recording five times just as to make sure that you do the best because i speak in a fluent way but when by the time you prepare yourself to speak fluently you need to listen to it five times in the third fourth time you will start speaking side by side and by fifth time you would be able to grab uh, grip and grasp a few bit of good things which you would be able to inculcate in your speaking as well all right thank you take care